Welcome everybody to Monday Night Raw. We are here live with episode 46 of Universe Mode. And we're going to kick things off with the man who shocked the world last week when he made his return on Monday Night Raw at the end. Spearing Ricochet out of his boots and then putting in the guillotine, making him faint in the middle of that ring. Honestly, I just want to know why. Like, why did Roman do it? Roman's been gone for months, makes his return, and for some reason, takes out the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure we know he wants that World Heavyweight Championship. Why else would he have taken out the champion? Hopefully tonight, here to kick things off on Monday Night Raw. I mean, we have a great show tonight as well. Our card is stacked. We're going to go down that, all right, run down that card here in a few seconds. But Roman Reigns, all I want to know is why. Like, we need answers from Roman Reigns here tonight on Monday Night Raw. The Messiah tonight answers John Cena's challenge for Hell in a Cell. Also, Bianca Belair makes her debut tonight. And then in the main event, the Viking Raiders take on the debuting team of the Disciples here tonight. So right now, let's hear from the uh, big dog, Roman Reigns. Let's hear what he has to say. Big E has heard enough. He's coming down to the wing to confront the big dog, Roman Reigns. Cheap shot. Are you kidding me? And wait a second. He's looking for a Superman. Bonds wait. Big E catches him. Big E. Belly the belly. Big E was able to catch Roman Reigns. Looking for the big E. But Roman Reigns not going to let that happen. Superman punch. Oh my god. No. Roman's looking for the spear on Big E. And the spear connects right there, just like we saw last week when he took out Ricochet. Are we going to get Big E versus Roman Reigns next week here on Monday Night Raw? I don't know, I have to wait and see till then.
Well, Sami Zayn's about to be in action here tonight on Monday Night Low, but as you can see, his opponent is already in the ring. Karrion Cross making his debut. He is here with Scarlett, and he already looks like he's ready for a fight. So, Sami Zayn, I, I just don't think you've been having luck ever since you beat Kevin Owens. Oh, here comes Sami Zayn. He's still sporting that I beat KO shirt. But tonight, I think he's going to be wearing the I got my ass kicked by Karrion Cross shirt. I mean, Sami Zayn, we all saw what happened. He showed out of the dome. Grabbed the tights of Kevin Owens. Cheated to get the win. And, I mean, I don't know. We haven't seen Kevin since then. But now we know Kevin is coming to Monday Night Raw. Yeah, here we go. If he brings the bell, we're underway. Sami Zayn on this attack right away with the strikes right there. Looking for a close line. No, gets caught. Belly to belly by Carrion. Now Cross sends Sami into the... Oh, my God. Spear. Speared right into the corner. And now just kicking the freaking living hell out of Sami Zayn. And now going right back on the attack again. He's got him. Throw Sami Zayn. This is always looking exactly similar to Sami Zayn's matchup against uh, um, Keith Lee on SmackDown. Trying to gain some offense like he did in that matchup. But carrying across the roundhouse kick. And now Cross. Power bomb right there. Yeah, Sami Zayn's done for. I think Sami Zayn's already out of it. Karrion Cross now sending him into the corner and the kicks right there. Again, just kicking the hell out of him. And now here we go, sent into the corner again. Sami Zayn though fighting out right there. Sami Zayn able to take advantage. Sami Zayn sends him into the corner looking for the Haluva kick. No, Karrion Cross able to dodge it. Right there with the uh, kick right there to the leg. And now here we go. Carrying cross. Crow's line right there takes Sami Zayn down. And I think we're, we're honestly just a few seconds away. Yep, right there. Throwing him right there. I think we are definitely a few seconds away from carrying cross. Putting this matchup away. Sami Zayn tried the fight, but I don't think it was enough. Carrying cross has got the cross jacket in. The cross jacket is in, and Sami Zayn's trying to survive, but I think he's going to have to tap out at the end. He's trying to survive. How Sami Zayn's getting passed out right now. He's going to have to tap out, and Sami Zayn has to tap out. Karrion Cross gets the win in his debut matchup. Okay, let's take a look back at the closing moments of this matchup. Right here in the corner, Sami Zayn able to fight back. Sends Cross into the corner looking for that Haluva kick. But Cross able to get out of it right there. Kick right there. And now carrying Cross right here. Connects with that clothesline. And that right there was the beginning of the end. That right there definitely sealed it. But right there is what put Sami Zayn down. The cross jacket gets the win. And Karrion Cross destroys Sami Zayn. Just like we saw Keith Lee do on SmackDown. Honestly, it's almost poetic justice for Sami Zayn.
Well, it's official. Seth Rollins accepts the challenge. Seth Rollins and the Disciples versus John Cena and two opponents, well, two partners of his choice at Hell in a Cell. But right now, we are set for another debut here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Bianca Belair, the EST of WWE, is set to take on the legendary Natalia here tonight in her debut on Monday Night Raw. If you have not seen Bianca Belair in the ring, then you're going to be in a cheat with this matchup. It is going to be a great match. Okay, here we go. Bianca right there with a slap. Natalia fighting back, a slap of her own. Back and forth so far. Oh, curse line right there. Bianca able to catch the leg. Now Bianca Belair looking for a power bomb. No, face first goes Natalia. Now Bianca twisting at the leg right there. She's got the one of the Best women's wrestlers in the WWE down right there. And now Natalia sent into the road. Bianca ducking down. Beyond oh, they run into each other. Natalia crows line right there. Takes down the EST. And now into the tie-up right there. Natalia's got her up. And wait a second. Bianca able to counter. Arm drag right there. And now Bianca, oh my god, look at the strength of Bianca, just picking up Natalia. Power slam! The strength of Bianca right there, I mean, oh my god. She's gotta be one of the strongest women on the Royal Women's roster now. Oh my god, right there, spear into the midsection in the corner. Bianca's in control of one of the best to ever do it in the women's division. And Natalia, and she's looking to use the hair as a whip. But Natalia curves lines her out of the wing. And now Natalia up to the top. Whoa. Curves lines. Bianca to the outside. Oh my god. Ow. Bianca sent right into the barricade. As the referee starts his count. Now here we go, Bianca back into the ring now. Natalia going up to the top rope, looking to possibly put away the newest member of the Raw Women's roster. Natalia off the top rope, crossbody connects. Drop kick by Natalia. Bianca is not looking good right now in her debut match. Natalia's got her right where she wants her. Oh my god, just stomping on the midsection and just walking over her. Now Natalia, here we go, looking for a suplex, maybe a... Oh, okay. Natalia showing the strength herself right there. Bianca sitting into the rope. Natalia looking for a back elbow. Bianca though, drop kick. And now Bianca looking to go on the attack of Natalia. Here we go. She's got her up back body drop. And now Bianca looking to set Natalia up in the rope right there. Kick to the midsection. Natalia down. Bianca Bell air. Oh my. Whoa, what a moonsault right there into the cover. Is that enough to put away Natalia? No, Natalia kicks out. Bianca Belair is, has been impressive throughout this matchup since the very beginning. And now, oh, Natalia though, able to uh, counter right there, able to fight back now. Natalia, German suplex to the EST. And now Natalia, this could be her opportunity to ruin Bianca's debut here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Looking for a super kick right there, but Bianca, power slam. 
And now Bianca, here we go. Oh, nice standing frog splash right there. EST's in control here tonight in her debut. And now looking to show off the strength again. Doing exactly what Natalia did earlier in the matchup. The super the suplex and also doing the squats right there, holding her up. I mean, look at the strength right there as she drops Natalia. Oh, now Bianca's got her up. Oh, military slam press. And now Bianca, oh my god, a nasty spear. Almost like that nasty spear we saw from Roman to Big E to kick off Monday Night Raw. But Natalia, discus curse line takes down Bianca. The discus curse line takes her down. Oh, and oh my god, Natalia. Natalia's got the sharpshooter in. She's got it locked in. Is Bianca going to have to tap out in her debut match here on Monday Night Raw? I certainly hope not. Bianca is in danger right now. Natalia's got it locked in deep. Bianca needs to get out of it. Oh, and Bianca somehow able to fight out of the sharpshooter. And now Bianca has got Natalia. Slam, slam. And Bianca up to the top rope. This is her moment right now on the top rope. She's got Natalia lined up. Bianca 450 right there into the cover. That's going to be enough. That has to be enough to defeat Natalia. No, she kicks out. What does Bianca need to do to put away Natalia? Now in the corner, Bianca sends her up to the top rope. She's got her up again. And just throws her right there. Oh my God. And I think Bianca's looking for the end right here. She could be looking for the KOD, but no, Natalia is able to fight out of it. Not going to let that happen. And now Natalia on the attack. Super kick right there to the midsection. Bianca is down. Natalia's got her. And here we go, Natalia. Oh, wow. Nice move right there. And now looking to possibly end things here. Drop kick to Bianca. Natalia Michinoka driver. That right there could be enough. Is it a no? Natalia not able to get the win. Bianca gets the shorter up. And Natalia is calling for the end of the matchup right here. Looking for that again. No, Bianca. Bianca's got her up on her shoulders. Up again with the military. Press and just slams her down. And now Bianca's gonna put it. Natalia down right here. She's got her up. KOD connects. Bianca's gonna get the win here tonight. What an impressive matchup by Bianca Belair as she puts down one of the best in the women's division. What a matchup. Let's take a look back at the ending moment of this matchup because it was such a good match. Right here, Natalia was able to put in the sharpshooter. I thought Bianca would have to tap out right there. She was in it for the longest time. Then Bianca right here with the glam slam to Natalia. Then up on the top rope, 450 connects. That should have been it right there, but no. Natalia fights back. Mitch Anoki driver. That could have been it right there, but Bianca Belair was finally able to put Natalia down with the KOD. Congratulations to Bianca on her debut win here tonight on Monday Night Raw. She's going to have a great future here on the main roster in this universe mode. I can guarantee you that she has definitely got a bright future.
So it looks like Kyle O'Leary is going to have to defend the law attacking pedals in a two-on-one handicap in two weeks. Definitely not the news he wanted to get from HBK here tonight. But wait, oh, come on. Jay Uso, who we saw make his return a week ago with Jimmy and Roman Reigns on the attack. But Kyle O'Leary able to fight back. Uh, we need to get some help right now. I mean, Kyle O'Leary is trying to fight them off. But wait, the old legal plex right there. He's trying to fight off Jay Uso. I think he might have just done that. But the question is, where is Jimmy Uso? We know that Usos never go far away from each other. And, oh my god, he just threw him over the freaking table right there. Oh, right there's Jimmy trying to get uh, O'Leary with a crossbody. But that's not going to be enough as, oh no, Jimmy super kick. Super kick by Jimmy Uso right there. And oh my god, now they're man to make things worse. Jimmy's got a freaking submission in. He is twisting back on the leg of Kyle O'Leary. And oh my god, he just snapped it back a little bit. I hope he's not hurt. Oh, he's tapping out, but honestly, it doesn't matter. This isn't even a match. This is just a brutal attack by the Usos. Roman Reigns did say the Usos were going to come for the goal tag team titles in a short time. Well, in four weeks' time, ladies and gentlemen, the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view will be here. And the Messiah and the Disciples will face off against John Cena and two partners of his choice. Right now, it looks like Sami Zayn's trying to leave the building after getting destroyed earlier in his matchup with Karrion and Cross. Oh, wait a second, though. Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is tired of chasing after Sami Zayn, but he's got him right now. Oh my god, no, not towards the ambulance. Sami Zayn could be in danger, but he's fighting out. Oh, geez, Sami Zayn throws Kevin right into the freaking uh, ambulance right there. And now he's got a stop sign smashing it across the face. Definitely don't think Kevin Owens had this plan tonight. Pretty sure he had a plan to send Sammy to the hospital in that same ambulance right there. Oh, wait a second. Sit out jawbreaker right there by Kevin Owens. And oh, God, no, no, no. Not on the car. Not on the car. He's got him up for a powerbomb. Kevin, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh, Sammy Zane's fighting out of it. Sammy Zane fighting out of the powerbomb. And oh, my God, of course. He just runs away. Doesn't even finish the fight. Sami Zayn, you're a freaking coward. Well, we're set for some one-on-one -on -one action right now. The new United States champion who won the title back after he vowed to become champion once again last week on night one of the Superstar Shuffle. Andrade defeated R-Truth and Humper Takuro in the same night. But tonight, his first night as United States champion, he is going to have to go one-on-one -on -one with Raw's newest superstar. We will get into that here in a minute. But Andrade is looking to become a great United States champion. And if you know that music and you know who that is, then you know this was a great pickup uh, uh, from Monday Night Raw. Angel Garza, now he was not in the actual Superstar Shuffle during the actual show. It was after the show where SmackDown, NXT, and Raw each got an extra pick uh, for SmackDown. And Angel Garza was the one by Monday Night Raw. Sheldon Benjamin was, was on SmackDown. And I don't think NXT actually picked anyone up. They had the opportunity, but I do not think they did. But right now, Angel Garza making his debut on Monday Night Raw against the United States Champion. Talk about a great debut. Especially if he could end up pinning the United
Well, here we go. Fun fact, though. Angel Garza is the cousin of the former United States champion that Andrade pinned as Andrade connects with a hurricane on to the Angel Garza. Now Andrade rolling him up, picks him up, and slams him down. We know Humberto's probably in the back watching after losing the United States Championship a week ago. Possibly watching if his cousin can pick up a win against the United States Champion. But Andrade right now in control of Angel Garza. And now Andrade back suplex connects. Now Andrade is looking for a move right now. Placing Garza on the rope right there. Back elbow by Garza. Able to get out of it. Sling blade by Garza. And now drop kick right there. I think this was definitely a great pickup for Monday Night Raw. Shawn Michaels has been doing a great job as the Monday Night Raw GM right now. The interim GM as now Angel Garza plants some backbreaker into the cover. Could that be it right there for the United States Champion? No kick out. Garza almost had the United States Champion right there. I mean, it was very close and now targeting the arm. Don't get it wrong. Angel Garza is indeed an absolute amazing talent. But Andrade is going to try not to lose this matchup. And now Andrade sent into the corner. Garza. Oh, Andrade moves. Garza gets face paint right there. Big boot right there. And now Andrade, I believe, has Garza right where he wants him. Right on the attack now. Belly the belly flow. Yes. Now Andrade placing Garza up on the rope right there. Angel Garza's in danger. Andrade sends him out of the ring. And now Andrade's looking to fly right now. Here we go. Drop kick to the outside. Drop kick right there by Andrade to the outside. Back into the ring. He sends Angel Garza. And now Andrade up to the top rope. Garza back up to his feet. Andrade gets hit right there. Oh. Garza able to take advantage right there off of that move. And now he's going to look to try and win this thing. Crow's line down goes Andrade. Now Andrade sent across the ring by Angel. Ducking down. And oh my god. Face first goes Andrade. Andrade just went face first right there. And now Garza might have him right where he wants him. Garza's got him up. Oh, Falcon Arrow right there. Things not looking good for Andrade at the moment. Humberto's honestly got him right where he wants him. Now yeah, here we go. He wants Andrade back up to his feet. Andrade though catches him. German suplex. And now Andrade Garza is headed to the corner. Elbow right there. And I think we know what he's looking for. Yes, that double knees into the corner. And now Andrade literally should just be paying attention to Garza right now instead of celebrating. Right now he's looking to put things all away. But no, Angel Garza, I think you let him sit there for too long and he got more momentum as Garza sends him oh my god what a kick right there throws him up and just kicks him right in the chest and now Garza I think is looking to end things he's looking for the wing clipper already yes it connects that's gonna be the match right there if he can get the pinfall wait what a sec wait a second what Bobby Lashley spears Angel Garza what where the hell did Bobby Lashley just come from the referee has to ring the what is happening right now Garza sent over the top rope, crashing to the outside, and now I think he's going after the United States champion. Oh my god, he takes Andrade down. What in the world is the meaning of this? Oh no, 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 no. Last we don't. Oh my god. Back first into the freaking barricade. Oh my god. What exactly is going through Bobby Rashford's head right now, taking out these two men? Like, what? And oh no, Andrade needs to get out of there. No, oh God. He's got the hurt lock in. He's twisted it. Oh my God. Oh, okay, that does not look good. 
He's tapping out, but honestly, there's no, there's nothing to stop him from uh, putting it, like taking it out. But I, I, I don't even know. Andrade sent over the top rope to the outside, and I, oh, now I understand. He was talking to MVP that one time a few weeks ago. He's joined forces with Montel Vontavious Porter. Honestly, I was not expecting this. Like, I am very shocked right now that Bobby Rashley took out the United States Championship. But next week, ladies and gentlemen, Kyle O'Reilly is set to take on Jimmy Uso after the brutal attack. Last week, and also a Raw Women's Championship number one contender gauntlet match, Asuka. Bianca Bell aired Dakota Kai, Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan. Battle it out to see who will face Rhea Ripley at Home and Saddle. Also, Piggy and Roman Reigns will battle it out in the main event next week on Monday Night Raw. But right now, we are set for our main event is the Viking Raiders taking on the newly formed team of Pete Dunne and Damian Priest, better known as the Disciples for the Messiah, Seth Rollins. This is a big opportunity for the Viking Raiders after the superstar struggle. They remained on the wall, but right now it's a good opportunity to get towards those tag team titles again. Disciples making their tag team debut here tonight in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Honestly, at Showdown at the Dome, we all thought John Cena had Pete Dunne right where he wanted him. Damian Priest comes out of nowhere and takes out John Cena. But last week, we heard John Cena's challenge to Seth Rollins and the Disciples. It has been accepted, and now it will be a three-on-three, -three, a six-man tag match at Hell in a Cell. The question on everyone's mind, though, is who is John Cena going to get for his partners at Hell in a Cell? Yeah, here we go. Main event debut of the Disciples against the Viking Raiders. Here we go. Damian Priest starting things out. And wait a second. Right there, Eric fighting back. Back and forth right here at the beginning. Yes, Damian Priest fights back as well. Oh my god, nasty roundhouse kick. That right there just knocked down Eric as Ivar watches on the outside. Are we going to look at the first tag of the Disciples? Are they even going to be able to work together? I honestly don't know. Pete Dunne just seems like the kind of guy that wants to get in the ring and work by himself. But right now, oh my god, spinning backbreaker right there. Well, spinning back suplex. Seth Rollins, you can tell, is getting excited already. His team working very well so far. And now, oh, oh, come on. Pete Dunne's biting his fingers. What? What is with this man, and why does he like to bite people's fingers? Oh, my. Ow. I think Eric's out. I think Eric just got knocked out with that form right there as Damian Priest comes back into the matchup. Eric Defrey not looking good as, oh, Falcon Arrow right there by Priest. Now it looks like Priest wants to go back on the attack as well. Sends him into the corner. And Damian Priest, roundhouse kick right there away. He's not done. Oh, kick right there, taking him out of the corner. And now a bulldog right there by Priest. Right now the Disciples are working very well together. They actually look like an actual team as Eric gets set into the corner again. But this time, since Damian Priest into the corner, here we go with the right hands. He's got an opportunity right here. Big boot right there into the corner. Can he get into the corner and make a tag here in our main event? Sent into the corner. Are we looking for a tag? And is Ivar coming in? Yes, the tag is made. In comes Ivar. And oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Splash into the corner. And this ain't going to be even better. Oh, my God. 
picking him up and just throwing him right into the face of Damian Priest. And now Ivar, oh my god, nasty knee. Nasty knee right there into the cover. Could that be enough to put him away? No, Damian Priest able to kick out. Priest needs to make a tag to done as soon as possible. Ivar's got him. And here we go. He's got him. Plants him right there again. Priest not looking pretty good in his first match here on Monday Night Raw. His first match on the main roster, but he's able to fight back against Ivar. He's got him and just picks him up by the throat and throws him. Oh my god. The strength of Damian Priest now. Here comes the baddest man on the roster, Pete Dunn. And oh my god, he's stopping the soul out of him right now. As Seth Rollins, the Messiah, watches on. He's got to be thinking in his head. Seth, that John Cena is not going to get a partner. Right he's not going to have a single partner. It's going to be a 3 one handicap at Hell in a Cell. As Pete Dunn is destroying Ivar. Now Ivar, the crossbody. Oh my god. Pete Dunn right, just got squashed. Now a leg drop right there. We're having a great main event right now and power bomb right there by Ivar. What a main event we are having. This tag team match, the debut of the Disciples against the Viking Raiders. Good matchup so far. Pete Dunn sent into the corner. Tag made. In comes Eric again. And here we go. That might be a match right there. The assist at pop up power bomb. Not pop up power bomb, pop up power slam by the Viking Raiders. And Pete Dunn kicks out. I don't know, Seth Rollins looked kind of worried on that one right there. Damien Priest not coming into the ring to break it up. That could have been it right there for the Disciples. Luckily, Pete Dunn is indeed the baddest man on the roster. Able to kick out now. Far away slam right there by Eric. Things not looking good for the Disciples at the moment. Pete Dunn getting back up to his feet. Eric, Superman punch right there, takes him down. And now sent into the corner again. Could we be looking at the end right here? No, Pete Dunn fighting out of the corner. Not going to let whatever the hell the Viking Raiders are going to do. Trying to put him down. Close line right there. Tag is made. In comes Damian Priest. And now Priest. Oh, he's looking for a choke slam. Sits down right there. That's match right there. Into the cover. Could that be it here in the main event? Yes, no, all broken up right there by Ivar. And Pete Dunn, big boot right there. Priest into the cover again. Kick out by Eric though this time. Looking for another big boot. Oh, chopping him down was Ivar. And now Ivar and Eric. This way, here's their opportunity. Pete Dunn is out of the matchup for good, I think. They have the opportunity to put this match away. And oh my god, what a catch German right there. Oh my god, running knee right there, the shotgun knee right to the face of Damian Priest. We could be seconds away from putting this thing away. Tag is made, here we go. He's got him up. Oh, wait, whoa, what is this? Oh, oh, Crow's line right there. Assist at Crow's line. Pete Dunn's nowhere to be seen. That's the match right there. There's no way he's kicking. How are you kidding me? How did he kick out? Damian Priest somehow able to kick out. Right now, the Disciples are not looking good whatsoever. Pete Dunn still down on the outside as Ivar working on Damian Priest right now. By the way, I think I saw Pete Dunn stirring there on the outside. But Damian Priest back uh, elbow right there. Able to take advantage. And now, oh, the chop right there. And now he's got him. Reckoning right there. Reckoning connects. Damian Priest sends Eric out of the ring. Here we go. Is this going to be the end? Into the corner. Damian Priest puts him in the corner. Here comes Pete Dunn. They got him up. And Pete Dunn now. Here we go. Assistant German suplex right there. I think that might be the beginning of the end. That right there might be the beginning of the end. And now Pete Dunn. He's got him up. Bitter end. The Disciples are going to pick up a win here tonight in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Eric back up to his feet and not able to get into the ring and break it up. The Disciples get the win. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights near the end. 
Right here is where we thought it was going to be over. They got him up right here. The assist at clothesline. I thought that was it. Damien Priest somehow able to kick out. I don't even know how. And then Damien Priest fighting out of the corner right there. Right on the attack. The chops right here. And then Damien Priest able to connect with the reckoning. And that was the beginning of the end. Eric gets knocked off of the apron right there. And Pete Dunn comes in. And right here as you can see. This must be their tag finisher. The assistant German suplex. And then the bitter end right after it, right here, picked up the win for the Disciples. Great main event to end things here on Monday Night Raw. I think this team is going to be dominant. I mean, dominant to say at least. Oh, wait a second. John, that's John Cena's voice. Oh, my. There's John Cena. Well, Seth Rollins sending Damian Priest back to go find John Cena. As him and Dunn watch on as Damien Priest goes to try and find John Cena. But wait a second, John Cena's found Damien Priest instead. Oh, John Cena up on the stage. AA, AA to Damien Priest. I don't think this is what Seth Rollins had. Oh my god, Cena, no, 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 no. Cena, Cena throws Priest off the stage. Oh my god. Damian Priest is out. Now Seth sends Dunn into the ring as well. Or out of the ring to John Cena. John Cena catches him. AA. Dunn stand, uh, drops on his feet right there. And now Pete Dunn on the attack of John Cena. But John Cena. Close line right there to Pete Dunn. And oh my god. Cena. AA right there on the ramp. AA to Pete Dunn, AA to Damian Priest. Priest going off the stage, and now he's going after Seth Rollins. Oh my God, are you kidding me? It's John Moxley. John Mox is on Monday Night Raw. What the hell? Seth Rollins looks like he's seen a ghost. Oh. Moxley. Bear down shift. Oh my god. What the hell? This crowd is going insane. John Moxley is in the WWE again. Oh, and he's not done. He's got him up. Another paradigm shift right there to Seth Rollins. Oh, my God. Who in the world would have thought that we would have seen John Moxley back in a Monday Night Raw wing in a WWE wing? Hell, who honestly thought that? And he's listening to the crowd right now. They want it one more. And he's going to give them one more, one more paradigm shift to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins definitely did not see this coming, but clearly John Cena had Moxley in mind for his tag partner at Hell in a Cell. Oh my God, what in the world just happened? I mean, we are running out of time right now. John Moxley returns.